Guys, today I'm announcing something that I have been working hard on for the past five months. It's my new Fortnite map, and I've created something that has never been done before in Fortnite, and I think you're gonna absolutely love it. So today I'm showing you exactly what this map is and going over all of the details that we've put in and showing you what happens when you become the richest player in Fortnite, because that's the goal on my map, Coin Clash. Okay, so what is this map all about and why is it so special? As you can see on this map, we have this thing called bounties. I'm at the Zone War section right now and every single fight you have on this map matters. There are winners and there are losers and there's always something on the line. The goal in this map is to gain gold. As you can see on my left, I have 2,300 gold. So I'm gonna step into this booth right here I'm gonna go to the 1v1 area. There's also 2v2. And I'm gonna enter and I'm gonna put a bounty on myself. And so will my opponent for this 1v1. Let's just say I'm gonna put down 2,000 coins. Click accept. Uh, I'll wait for them to update to 2,000. Now that we have the same amount, I'm gonna lock in. And once he locks in, we're gonna be teleported into a Zone Wars 1v1. Now, it's your typical Zone Wars setup. But what's really important to understand is that whoever wins actually gains the other person's bounty and the other person actually loses their bounty. So I just gained 2,000 and Jack just lost 2,000 gold over that Zone Wars match, which is absolutely insane. So what you just saw happen took me and my team over five months of testing and developing to be able to do the math and do the persistence on this map was an absolute nightmare, but somehow we pulled it off. So the best part about all that is that every single match, you're just gonna feel so much more emotion about winning and losing, because as you're progressing in this game, any 1v1 or 2v2 can completely alter your course and your progression. You can end up, you know, going from a thousand gold and having a really good run, ending up with 10,000 gold, 100,000 gold, or you could work your way up and then have a few L's in a row and then end up with nothing. But the best part is you can always bounce back on Coin Clash. The point of this map is to earn as much gold as possible. And there are four different ways you can earn gold. Now, as you can see, there is passive gold. I'm gaining gold just by being on this map. Right now, my passive gold is 20 gold per minute and you can upgrade that. I'll show you how later. Now, obviously the main thing is to win against other players at the bounty boots. We got zero builds. We got box fights. We even have a pickaxe 1v1 and 2v2 arena. And of course we have zone wars. Um, they all work the same way. The boots work the same way. We also have a fishing and mining skill that rewards you gold for fishing and mining. It's just like a passive way to gain gold without any risk. And if you just want to kill some time, it's really good. And then of course, last but not least, there's a random event that happens every 30 minutes. But the main bread and butter is the combat of gaining gold. That is the main bread and butter of this map. But why do you even care about how much gold you have on this map in the first place? So let me show you our shop because this is something that I have never seen any other map do the way we're doing it here. In this shop, you can walk in and purchase all kinds of different things. We have houses for sale like this shack at 25K gold, a cabin, and even a million gold castle that you can work your way up to. On the backside, we have customization for the houses. You can do different paints and coats from mud all the way up to ruby and diamond. And obviously these are gonna be more expensive. On the second floor, we have gold upgrades. So if you plan to spend a lot of time on the map, you can actually increase your passive gold to 30, 50, 80, and even 150. And of course we had to add some pets. Look at these pets. You have cats, you have beavers, turtles, bees, snails, all the way up to a unicorn. Um, and the best part is anything you buy, everyone in the server is gonna know that you have it. The pet will follow you around. The house will show up in your plot. So you can flex how much gold and progress that you've made on this map against your friends or random players. Okay, so Jack bought the snail. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and buy, uh, you know what? I, I don't, I'm just gonna buy Bonesy. There he is, Bonesy. Yo, Bonesy, I'm I'm your new new owner. So I also have enough to buy a shack. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna buy a shack, which 10,000 gold, and maybe we'll, we'll buy a sticks paint. 
for 5,000 gold. There we go. So what do I do now? Now that I have a pet, I have a shack, I have paint. There is plots of land on the outskirts of the city that players can claim. As you, can, as you guys can see, we have some rich folks in this neighborhood. They left me a plot over here, though. So you just walk up to this plot, stand over here, and whatever you have will pop up. Uh, there is Bonesy. Like, what is going on here, man? I got to get my money up. And then I got this shack with a toilet. <laughs> no, no bed sheets, no mattress, bro. Okay, bro. I can't be caught seeing like this. Here's where things get interesting. Like I said, everything saves in this map. We created some very unique stuff that a lot of other maps do not have. So I can actually select the house. And if I was rich enough to afford the other houses, I can swap between the houses that I've purchased. Same thing applies with the pets. So right now I have Bonesy unlocked so I can select Bonesy. Um, but there's all these other pets that I can uh, purchase and I can swap between them and they'll follow me around. And if I don't want them to follow me, I can also click a button and they won't follow me. And then last but not least, I can actually change the paint on the house. So you have the default paint, which is whatever this is. But of course, I bought the sticks paint so I can upgrade my shack to the sticks. And it does look a little bit prettier. What this means is every time you're on this map, you can walk around and see just how rich your neighbors are. Like if they have a gold castle with a snail pet um, or if they have an igloo, which I'll talk about that here in a second, or just all the castles or like the ruby paint on that house. You can pretty much flex on everybody and show how much gold you've acquired. And the best part is it all saves. So every time you play this map and then you log out and come back, you can pick up right where you left off. And that's not all. There's also something else that we're doing that has not been done in Fortnite Creative. You guys remember the OG days when the Renegade Raider came out or the OG Skull Trooper and you might have missed out and you have some regret. Well, we have managed to add our own seasonal limited time items in Coin Clash. In the shop section over here in the seasonal section, there is an igloo house, an ice paint, and even a penguin pet that you can adopt. Now, what's crazy is that eventually, this will be out of the shop. So anybody who earns these items will permanently have them on their account and be able to show that they are OG. And listen, I don't want to leak anything, but we might be working on a trading system on this map. So who knows? Maybe you can sell your penguin in the future to someone who really wants it, but didn't play during the OG days. For the past five months, this has been all I've been thinking about off stream, putting in time and work with my team and to see it finally come to life is something so special. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. There is so much thought put into this and so much planned for the future. I am just so excited. If you guys wanna check out Coin Clash, you can search it up in Discovery or use this map code right here. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time.